Hey, I'm the Kathleen Gamer. Welcome back to PCM21. We're on Stage Racer, and it's episode number nine. No matter how you look at it, stamina, flat, resistance, cobble rating, sprint rating, none of them are good. My chances are terrible <laughs> on a day like this. We're at Perry Roubaix youth version, so that does lower the quality of the field significantly. That does improve my chances slightly. But from what I saw, four of the seven teammates here, I know the attributes of myself being included in that. The three that I know beside myself are just as bad as I am. So the team expectations, absurdly low. None of us are in the top 10 favorites, but I don't know the top 10 favorites in this race. It's a lot of young riders from World Tour teams uh, that are amongst those favorites. But you can see just how tired I am already, and we haven't even hit the first cobbled sector yet. I'm in the break, so there's a, an obvious reason for it, but with nine of us here, they're not letting us go. I mean, this is roughly 10% of the peloton, 9% to be exact, easy numbers so with exactly with 100 in the field today, but uh, just aren't getting very far up the road. And with nine of us and working this hard, I'm not actually recovering. Now, Richitello is, so maybe there's a chance. Maybe I could sit up for a little bit and try to recover, but we're, we're looking at a heart rate 147 now. It's dropped by a few, 146. We might be able to get some recovery in, but we're already entering the first cobbled sector. And for me, you can see, if I don't relay through here, I'm going to get dropped. We have a new cut. It's down to sixth, though, and we are seconds ahead of the peloton. 14, 17. Not much. Richitello's still here. He's doing okay. We're about to head into the next sector, and I've barely got anything left. There you go. Caught by the peloton. That was it. My objective was to be in the break. How far did I get? You know, I'm only 11k away from 50%, and there's 55 of us here. There's a chance that if I could recover, I could try to go clear again and get those 14k. This is the final of the sectors, but that's it. We're, we're already done. That's how bad I am. Four and a half star sector. Yeah. That is, uh, that's a 57 gobble rating for you. That Perry Roubaix with 57 stamina and 60 flat, 66 resistance. Never mind the sprint. We that's never had, <laughs> we never had a prayer. I'm, I'm surprised though that I go from the breakaway to five minutes off the back without a puncture, without a crash, just through one cobbled sector. Just the third cobbled sector of the day. Ouch. Well, we got 25% of our goal at least. I, I have zero chance of recovering and getting back up there. I'm back to 345, so the pace has lifted. Maybe, maybe there's a minute chance over the next 60K that I get back in contact with the front group. Jones, we're about to catch him. We're going to gather other riders. There's five guys left in the peloton. That is actually two minutes attack. down, so I'm only two minutes behind the peloton itself. It's not over yet, but probably over. If I get back in, we'll resume this, but otherwise, I'll see you for the next race. It ain't over till it's over. We're back in the peloton, 83 riders here. There are five riders off the front and they've got a good little gap. So we are not in the break right now. And that's not good. And this is a four and a half star sector. And look how fast we just got eliminated from the group. Uh, we're going 98% right now and just getting left in the dust. I am so, so, so slow compared to everybody else, even on max ever. Uh, through those cobbled sectors. It's bad. It is so bad. Uh, and then, you know, the energy consumption, even though I'm crawling, I'm a baby compared to these guys around me. So there you go. It's over again. Uh, we don't have a nice 60 kilometer break between here and there to recover. Uh, we're, we're just kind of straight screwed from here the rest of the way. At least I'm not last, but I'm 
not doing well at all. I mean, I'm already last on my team, Jones and I. The pack is increasing its work rate. Some teams can't be happy with the breakaway. Stage one, Savoy Mont Blanc. Five stages. And there's two mountain stages, there's a time trial, and there's two punchy stages. So it's a difficult tour. One of those punchy stages is absolutely a hilltop slash mountaintop finish. So I'd say there's really more like three climbing stages and one punchy stage. Some shorter stages, meaning that stamina that's so bad of mine isn't quite as bad as it could be. And I've got decent mountain ratings now. Good, but... You can see who's on the front right now. Well, we rounded the corner. <laughs> when we're not going around these fast technical corners, there you go. You can see that it is Archaea Samsic with Quintana, Barguil. They have three of the four favorites just for the stage. They also have another of the top ten favorites. Archaea has every reason bed, to win this. And should be massively, massively disappointed if they lose to a continental team like us. I don't have the team support. None of the fellow climbers are actually in the 70s without assistance of race day condition. But we do have some guys who are there with that assistance. We already see a peloton of just 49 at the moment. Burgoyne, who's awful. Laverick, who's awful. <laughs> aren't going to last much longer as we approach the final climb. But I do have leader role. I'm expected to win the race. I'm not expecting to win the race. I do expect to finish in the top five. Maybe on the podium. And we'll do our best. I'm not going to go crazy trying to follow Quintana, who has you know ridiculous ratings that aren't realistic in real life. He's really struggled. Barkeel, that's realistic. 75 Mountain, he used to be rated much higher. There's Quintana. I don't know about Quintana yet. And I suppose I could use observation points. We still didn't get the feedback on him, but... Anyway. Uh, base of the climb. Base of the climb. All right, let's... Just Burgoyne is going backwards. Ricciatello, go ahead and protect Quinn. And then let's go ahead and get our three leaders prepped to survive a bit longer. Especially in the case of those two. Following Arkea is going to be hard. I think I'm going to be riding for second place. I think I'm going to ride for the podium. I will try to follow Quintana the best I can, but that's not always going to happen. It's not always going to be the case. I think there's going to be at least one stage where he comes out on top. Now, here's the thing. I should have a plus three race day condition as I have a fitness peak that just started a couple days ago and an objective in this race, which it wasn't at the start of the year, but I added it in and I'm so glad that I did. I can see why there are demands from the team for this race, being that it's an objective, but you can see my team just falling away. And there's Archaea. Prisoners, Quinn, they're still here. Uh, is not going to last much longer. I don't get to choose their... Oh, Andrade's already fallen away, and he was protecting Drizner's. Uh, whoever was protecting me has already fallen away. Let's get Richitello on that task, and then between Drizner's and Quinn, let's figure out. We got a 73 with 75 resistance. Uh, 73 with 73 resistance and definitely punchier. So how's the stamina? 73. 74. Quite close to each other. Uh, Drizner's is definitely not the pure climber. What about descending skills? If they happen to survive over the top, which I don't expect. Drizner's. Okay. Drizner's. Uh... I want you both to just follow me, though. Why don't you both just try to survive? Chitello is already starting to fade. Maybe I need to uh, switch up the rules now. Yeah, he's done. Okay, auto. Drizners. 
Go ahead and take over on the following part and Quinn. Maintain and then protect. Meanwhile, my the position is holding the firm, doing good so far. Lake. Down to the last two breakaway riders just right here ahead of us. Uh, Bargil doing the hard work right now. And Chitello out the back. The guy's giving me that support. Before long here, I think I'm going to just try to follow Quintana. But he's got Flores on his wheel right now. Down to 19 in the group, and there goes Quintana. Let's follow Diaz. By the way, there's five of us, and we're chasing just Chevalier and Quintana. I don't know what happened to the break. We flew past those guys around one of these corners, and right now we're riding for third. I, I'm a good climber, I just I still lack stamina and resistance massively, and without big race day condition bonuses, I run out of energy fast. I didn't do anything crazy there, but we just burnt right through our energy, and that's why it's ridiculous for the team to look at the fact that yes, I can left. climb, the finishing line is at the bottom of the slope. It's the and final saying that that is segment. enough that we should be winning. The fact that we're battling for third place right now against stronger riders is fairly impressive but we're not gonna win we're not winning this race uh, i was hoping for a podium uh, second place is gonna get a little bit harder with che chevalier up the road but you know those guys are known quantities all right well 2.6k to go we are recovering right now uh, we need to set ourselves up for the sprint a solo victory for Quintana. Out front, now into the sprint. Can we hold these guys off? We have the acceleration, we have the energy. I'm going to get a time bonus and claim third place. That was good. That was good. Uh, up their rear a time gap to Quintana and Chevalier, willpower. not great. But that stage was a real third place, zapper. I'm happy. I'm happy with that. I would have been happier with second, but I knew Quintana was going to be just way, way too strong. There's no way we were beating that guy. Quinn, nice finish for Sean. Quinn there in 11th. Um, Carvalho, Car uh, Carvalho, whatever it is. Barguil was 8th. Garin, 7th. I mean, there's plenty of names around here that are quality cli uh, climbers and we got a podium spot on the stage. One down. We're going to do one more for this episode, and then we'll do the other three stages in the next episode. On to stage two. And we're Some looking a little weak on this climb. It's category two. I'm going to have to put a little more effort in to try to keep these guys in place. And you can see Quinn's already quite a ways back down the road here. I'm doing okay like that. Plus four race day condition today, so uh, we're actually still a minus one net for the two stages so far, but that's nice. That is going to make me a lot more effective, especially with the uh, the hill rating going plus six, 78 hill. I've got a shot today to certainly be in contention with Quintana a little bit better. All right, I've recovered my position. Pace is lifted a little. We're down to uh, 92 in the group. Breakaways, all kinds of shattered. Uh, they were still only kind of just establishing the themselves. And still a bit off the pace, but he'll recover that position. So far, so good. Let's speed things up till the uh, next climb here. Uh, we're going to have to get somebody like Drizners to go get water. All right, base of the next climb, Burgoyne, Laverick, Andrade. Uh, only partial recovery for them, but enough to keep them around for a while. This climb is longer, but in terms of elevation, it's only slightly more uh, meters. So it's also the a Category 2. To it's just not quite as steep. Its speed. Uh, but we're seeing that uptick in tempo. Let's respond here. A bit anyway 
Chitello, Drizners, pushing them both to 80. Let's get Quinn up to 80. We're going to have a long false flat after this, so this is mostly about just not getting dropped, so I'll stay at a 78. Conserve some energy. Five riders left off the front under a minute, halfway through this climb already. And Burgoyne heading back, Andrade heading back. They're going to get dropped. It's survival of the fittest. Got a 52 riders, and all, all of my teammates just got dropped. There was a split. That wasn't about energy, that was a split in the peloton. And we've got Quinn. Richitello's back, Drizners is back, now Quinn is back. There you go. High tempo. Uh, we need cover. Richitello or Drizners or Quinn. Richitello, you're going to cover. Quinn, you're going to follow. Drizners, you're going to get water. Right on the back of the group, so that's easy. Hand up immediately. We'll ride with him for a little bit. No breakaway. 55 in the group. Gaps behind. You only have one and two riders chasing. Now it's coming together. Six right. Oh no, that's six more off the peloton that are being dropped because there hasn't been recovery. So this 49, this gentle uphill slope, I mean, it's three and a half, so it is a climb. So it's going to take more out of the legs, and you can see Drizners, Richitello, and Quinn all kind of just hanging on uh, by a thread. At least we got water. We got some support for that. I've got some cover. I'm not at full strength, but you can see the Archaea riders on the front are quite fatigued themselves. And that's a good thing. Now that they do have the lead, I mean, they already controlled the first stage anyway, but now that they have the lead, they're really going for it. Is there a time? No, I'm too far off to go for a time bonus here. Oh, Quintana can go grab it, though. How is Quintana... Wait, wait, wait. Is that it? his little brother? Yes, there's Quintana. Let me see. Not ranking, I want riders. Quintana. Yep. Uh, Dyer, is that what it is? I forget his first name. Werner Anacona, Warren Bargill. Anyway, uh, little brothers here supporting him. All right, 49 riders. So those six that got dropped are not getting back in. Their gap is holding, though, on this descent. Uh, recovery ongoing. I'm going to need more effort when we start the next climb, so let's just go ahead and place that now. Drizners needs to get up here. Uh, Rich Tello should probably use Drizners. not worried about the position they have. Yes, I want him to take over. Protect. And Rich Tello's going to follow. All right, a little bit of a false flat before we begin the climb. Gentle uphill slope. Let's see, one. This climb and we're up to eleven and a half already. Just starting the climb. It's steep, and I'm blinking. I don't want to work too hard here early. I want to get through this steep little section and just lose a bike length or two. And when it levels off, then we can speed up. Okay, there's the level off. Delco, close the gap for us. Thank you. Okay. Now we want to hold position. Again, high tempo. And this is not Arkea doing this. It's the Portuguese team. Drizners falling back. Okay, change of plans. Drizners, you're done. Richitello, your turn. Yeah. 
not as good the teammate support today. I'm obviously looking a lot better, but the teammate support's not. I'd rather have the teammate support starting the last climb, so I'm not going to try to attack now and split this group. It's at 48. Drizners, I don't think he's going to recover, but Richtella and Quinn might get a little bit of support from them. Meanwhile, though, I'm looking good. Let's go off effort up for just a second. Claim some KOM points. There you go. Eight. Drizners got dropped. Richtello's fading. But he'll be there for the base, and then we'll have Quinn almost immediately taken over, but at least Quinn can recover for now. And I should get mostly recovered. Down to 38 in the peloton, heading into the final climb. This is not a mountain stage. This is the one I was talking about being a hilly stage, a punchy stage. And yet, profile-wise, yeah, it's not looking very punchy. It's looking very much more of a climbing stage, but it's the equivalent of a Cat 2 final climb, so it's not a massive climb. But when you have four of them, plus that long false flat in between, it's almost five climbs. And hence, 40 riders, and many of them quite fatigued as we uh, enter the final phase of this stage. We're seeing an acceleration by a group of riders, but they're not going anywhere. I'm looking good and feeling good, I think. Especially because Quinn is looking and feeling good. I need these guys to do something. Let's be bold. Let's go for it today. Today's our day. So, small sprint train. Chitello gets the first K. And he's done. Quinn should last a while. 5k to go. And this is not as steep. The are entering the last five of and the there's stage. a little false flat section. 3.9. Okay, Rich Tell has been dropped, but Quinn leading it out. Now 34 riders and Quinn setting it up. 3k to go. 2.9k. 2.7. He's going to be out of red bar as he comes around the steepest corner. 2.3. But it is going to be a second place finish on same time as Quintana. And that's going to open a gap behind us. That's going to help our position. It's a small gap though. Chevalier is still third, so he gains a little more time. So we firm up our third position, opening the gap on those followers who had same time as us last time, where we only had a four second advantage. This time we're gonna open that gap to those guys. So 30, 40 seconds, 45 seconds behind, they will now be. Also, meanwhile, we close the gap on Chevalier, bringing him a little bit closer together, but he picks up the four second time bonus so we only pick up two seconds plus, I don't know, 10. So we only grab about 12 seconds on him. We were maybe 30 seconds down, so with three stages left to go, we're in striking distance. But Quintana, very much out of reach. Terrible time trialist, so we might gain some time on him there. He's a 67 in the time trial, 68. We're looking at his profile right there in the bottom left corner. But for me, I'm not there yet. My time trialing is only slowly coming along. It's only in the low 70s, if that so we're slightly better. We'll close the gap on him a little bit, I would suspect. And hopefully hang on to a podium place following the time trial, but we'll see. I don't know if that's stage three or four. We finish with the big climbing stage. That is going to do it for this episode, though. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit that like button, and I'll see you next time as we continue our journey from a podium position. Can we move up? Will we at least consolidate so far so good on that, that potential podium position? It's looking likely that we'll at least be able to keep a podium, but how high? What's the ceiling? I don't know. Quintana might be out of reach. Second place, though, Chevalier, maybe we gain some ground today. Like, comment, subscribe. See you next time. Have a good one.
safe out there. Bye for now.